Now, the other day, we were talking to a reporter in Hollywood, and it came out that she said that you'll be making an appearance in a Sasha Baron Cohen uh, upcoming film, Bruno, about a gay fashion reporter. Uh, apparently, and this is the way she stated it, so maybe you could uh, correct me or, 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 or lead me in the right direction, that without you realizing who he was, right. Bruno tried and failed to seduce you in a Washington hotel room even pulling down his pants in front of you. Now, is that true or untrue? Well, it is, but the way it's said, it sounds a little bit different. We were in a studio uh, situation, which wasn't, I wasn't invited to a hotel room, in a studio situation where they, they had a lot of lights burn and blaze and all kind of commotion. They said, better get in, in this back room here, and all of a sudden, you know, I was in this room, which they had it all fixed up as a bedroom. So getting me there was sort of, you know, just uh, dishonesty getting me into the into the interview. I was expecting an interview on Austrian economics, so, <laughs> so and that didn't turn out that way. But by the time he started pulling his pants down, I thought, "What in thunder is going on here?" I ran out of the room. <laughs> so and this this interview has ended. <laughs> so uh, when when that happened, I I think though when it, this all gets out, I'm probably going to have to apologize to my supporters because I think most of them are going to f- figure out why world didn't I sock this guy in the nose? <laughs> well, okay, so you're right now, but did you actually see the original Barat film where he pulls these no. kinds of stunts on no, others? No, uh, last, last uh, movies I used to see are sound amusing. Tonight I was sitting here watching uh, Gone with the Wind, so I don't watch that kind of stuff. And, and I understand he makes a lot of money, but if he makes a lot of money, which is you know, I have to permit the market to do this. I don't like the idea that he is, he, he lies his way in interview. That to me is fraud. But the fact that he has raunchy material and people buy into it, it's, it's, uh, it's sort of sad that that is a reflection of our culture. To me, it's a real shame that people are going to reward him with millions and millions of dollars for being so crass. <laughs> And, and, you know, he might actually end up using that piece to promote this upcoming film. So that, you, that means I'm helping him make money, huh? <laughs> right, and pay taxes, because you know there's a lot of taxes on this. Oh, uh, but I don't want people to pay tax, <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to hit, uh, well, see, I have to be consistent. Uh, once the government gets the money, they'll spend it on regulating <laughs> you and me. Maybe they're going to close your radio station down or something. Well, so you don't, want, you don't want them to have the money, even from people like this.